Hey guys, it's Matt here from UFIT. I know the weather is not cooperating today. Man, unfortunately we did have to close the facility here, but that does not mean we cannot get a good workout in. So today we're gonna do a few exercises, primarily full body, to get everything moving and going. So if you have a little bit of space here, again, this is just body weight. You do not have any equipment whatsoever. So let's get to it. So the first exercise that we wanna do is just to get warmed up. So you can see I'm walking right here. All we wanna do is walk for about 10 minutes or so just to get everything loosened up, get the legs loosened up, get the heart going a little bit, get the arms pumping. So just a quick 10 minute warm up here and then we will get started with our first exercise. So again, you can walk around your house, you can do whatever you wanna do to get warmed up. Alrighty guys, so the first exercise that we're gonna do are the squats, okay? So I already made a video on this before, but if you need a refresher, Go ahead and watch. So what we want to do here is we want to keep our feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart, okay? Toes pointed slightly outward. That will give our knees a correct path to travel, okay? When we do these squats, we don't have, want to have our toes pointed straight ahead because then what's going to happen is you're going to use your knees, okay? So what we want to do, once we have that good base, I'm going to turn to the side here. The first movement is we want to use our butt, okay? We don't want to go down with the knees first. We want to go with the butt. We want to lead with the butt. Okay, so that first move, we're gonna lead with the butt, we're gonna lean forward. Okay, the farther we go down, we keep pushing our butt out, we lean forward. You can hold your hands out to the side for balance if you'd like, you can hold them up here, whatever you wanna do. We just don't wanna have them here on our quads. So push the butt out, lean forward, go to parallel, come right back up. All right, guys, so we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. Okay, we're gonna do three rounds of, the, of this circuit. So you're gonna be doing three sets of squats for 40 seconds. So go ahead and pause the video right here and then we'll move on to the next one. Alrighty, now that we are done with the squats, we're gonna work the upper body. Okay, so we're gonna do some push-ups here. Now, there is a technique to push-ups. They sound simple, but there is a technique. Okay, what we wanna make sure we do is when we get in our push-up position, okay, when I have our hands a little bit more than shoulder width apart, and then when we go down, we want our elbows to be at a 45 degree angle. Okay, we don't want our elbows flaring out to the side because then you're gonna put all the strain on your shoulder. We wanna keep them at a 45 degree angle, go all the way down to the floor, press up. All the way down, press up. Just like that, okay? So the most important part of that movement is keeping those elbows at a 45 degree angle. Let me do it from the front here. 45 degree angle, down and up, 45 degree angle, down and up, okay? Now, if you're having trouble doing these on the ground, you can also hold on to something as well. So you can hold on to a couch, um, whatever you wanna use. You just put your hands on the end of it and you do a push up that way. That's kind of like how you do an assisted push up. So again, we're gonna do these for 40 seconds. Go ahead and pause the video and we'll move on to the next one. Whew, I hope we are feeling it right now. You should be feeling it in your legs. You're gonna feel it in your upper body. You're gonna feel it everywhere. Now the next exercise we're doing, I can't really show you how to do it with my phone here. Um, since I'm gonna be on the ground doing a crunch, I can't really angle my phone at a way to show the whole crunch. So I'm gonna tell you step by step how to do it. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get on the floor, okay? And you can either keep your legs halfway up in the air or you can keep your feet on the ground. Okay, if you keep them halfway up in the air, you wanna make sure that you cross your feet as well. Okay, so um, whenever you're in your stance, what you wanna do is you wanna keep your hands at your temples. Never put your hands behind your head. Okay, we never wanna do this when doing a crunch. Because if you do this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna push on your neck. Okay, and that's gonna cause a lot of pain um, in the top part of your spine. Okay, so we wanna keep them right at our temples and then we wanna keep everything level. Okay, so. Uh, we wanna keep our neck even with the rest of our body. We wanna keep our core tight and all that. So once we're, we're right here, then all we're gonna do is we're gonna go up about uh, maybe a half, two thirds of the way or so. You don't wanna go up all the way on a crunch. You never wanna go up all the way because that's gonna cause lower back pain, okay? So we go up about half the way, two thirds of the way, and then we come back down, okay? Now when we come down, we wanna make sure that we keep our shoulders off the ground. You never wanna touch your shoulders to the ground, okay? So always keep them off the ground. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this for 40 seconds and the next one. Alrighty guys, so now that we're done with the crunches, we got the core nice and tight here. We're gonna do one of my favorite exercises and that is a burpee. Now a burpee is pretty much a full body exercise. You're using your legs, you're using your chest, you're using your arms, 
your core, your back, you're using everything. Now there's different variations of a burpee that you can do. The first one we're gonna do is a full burpee. Okay, so I'm gonna do this really fast and then I'm gonna go ahead and explain it. Okay, so what we wanna do, Okay, just like that. So again, what we wanna do is we wanna get in the squat position, then we're gonna get down in the push-up position, then we're gonna do a push-up, then we're gonna get back up into the squat position and jump, okay? Now, a modified way you can do this is just getting in a squat, going down, touching, jump, touching, jump, touching, jump. And you don't even have to jump that high. Okay, sorry I'm winded right now. I just got done doing my workout, so it was legs. So for everybody that had to do legs today, I did the same exact workout, and I feel your pain. So anyway, again, that's a burpee. You can either do a full burpee or more of, a, more of like the assisted one where we touch and jump. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for 40 seconds and pause the video. All right, guys, we are almost done with the first round here. Now that we really got everything going, what we're gonna do is a mountain climber. So this is a good exercise for, again, your, your legs, your core, your upper body. It's pretty much working every muscle. Okay, what we wanna make sure we do, and I'm gonna do this multiple ways. So we're gonna start in a push-up position, and we're gonna bring one leg up, and then we're gonna switch. Switch, 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 switch. So we can do this really fast, just like that, or you can go nice and slow, okay? However you wanna do the exercise, it's completely up to you. But we wanna make sure that we stay moving, okay? So let's go ahead and pause the video, 40 seconds. Alrighty guys, we have survived all of those exercises so far. Now what we're gonna do is a plank, okay? This is for mainly upper body strength, uh, but again, you're using every single muscle <clears throat> In your body so there's two ways we can do this the most common way is just to get in a push-up position okay just just like this now we want to make sure because this movement's a little bit different than a push-up we want to make sure that we squeeze our core we bring our butt down just a little bit okay and we push our upper body forward so we're really putting emphasis on our abs okay so you can do a plank just like this or you can do a plank like this Okay, so it's the same thing. We're just on our forearms instead of our hands. But again, we wanna bring the butt down, bring the core, squeeze it in, and hold it. Okay, so we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. Alrighty guys, so that is round one. Okay, we're gonna do three total rounds of that. All of those exercises, we're gonna go for 40 seconds and then rest for about 20 or 30. The one thing, we just wanna make sure that we keep moving. If you find there's maybe an exercise in here that you, you can't do as well, you can always do an alternative one that'll hit the same muscle groups, okay? We just wanna make sure that we keep moving and we keep the muscles going. Now, once you're done with this entire circuit, you wanna make sure that you do a cool down. So you can either walk around the house again, you can do stretches. Um, you, you just wanna make sure that again, you're, you're letting your heart rate go back down to normal uh, for about maybe anywhere from about five to 15 minutes, uh, depending on what your heart rate is, okay? If it's pumping really, really fast, then I would go for a little bit of a longer cool down, but we just wanna make sure that we get the heart rate down. So yeah, guys, that's the workout. Um, I hope you have fun with the, the rest of these two sets. I know uh, I had fun doing this, uh, this first round, so I'm gonna be really sore tomorrow. Uh, just doing all this plus uh, my stuff earlier, man. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good snow day tomorrow. If you guys have any other questions about this, uh, please reach out to me. You can reach out to Jacob. You can reach out to Molly, Morgan, whoever it may be. Uh, yeah, just have, if you have questions, just reach out. And I hope you guys have a good day tomorrow. And I will see you all on Friday and on Saturday. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.